some weirdness with the bodies. Shh. Shh. It's all right, McCoy. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> oh, I knew you would come. Just like you said. I, I saved this. What? Get out, go. Here's Kenita. To move over objects. Cool. To shut up. Ha ha ha. Uh. <laughs> I, I didn't do that. That was all her. That was how she died. That was how she chose to die. What? <laughs> They're like fish. <laughs> no, we don't need a store. Where do we... Where do we go from here? Okay, maybe we could... Is that using up energy to do that? Doesn't seem like it. Schematics to add items to the store. Oh, cool. A flamethrower. Can't afford that, though. Isaac, are you there? Noise. We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost so, her. So, we need a thermite bomb in order to get to the med. We can still do this. So get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. <laughs> Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Yeah. Get some thermite from medical storage, and a shock pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. So medical storage, it didn't actually really tell me which direction that was, but I'm assuming we can find it just fine. Life support? Yeah, right, Toots? I know. All right, so the direction we're headed. Yeah, I know, actually. Secondary fire is RB. Oh, I actually haven't... Wait, is it? No, it's not. Oh, well, yeah, it is a secondary fire mode, right. Horizontal to vertical. I don't trust it. I think it's gonna come back to life. I am playing a controller, too, so yeah. I tried on mouse and keyboard, and it was a little... It's a little weird. The like even the mouse moves like way too fast, or when you get it down to a speed that feels right, then it takes forever to turn. So I switched back. Sounds like there's somebody crawling around in the, uh... Hazardous ventilation. detected. Quarantine activated. Excuse me. Another one? Yeah.
You're not dead. Oh, I thought I hit him in the arm there. Good. So we normally prefer using mouse keyboard for shooting games, but the S is one rare exception where they both work. Hmm, for you, yeah. Hey, Brandon, how you doing, man? It sounds like there's one more, maybe down below? You should see what the remastered version of this looks like? Yeah, for sure. Probably even spookier. Probably even more mastered. I picked up line gun ammo? I did. You sure about that? Maybe it maybe it was one? Oh, the thing I killed downstairs. Oh, 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 oh. Watch the vents. Oh, next to it. I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, on the ground there. Yeah, and the remaster of the door would be un unbeatable. It's true. Anyone who's... mannequin just floating through the air. Ow! That's the first hit we've taken. Uh, it rained on you last night? You weren't entirely prepared. I mean, I feel like normally, like, you know, so you could get rained on, it's not that big of a deal, but most people don't say they weren't entirely prepared unless they were running around naked outside and had no idea that it was going to rain. And then it would be like, yeah, I wasn't entirely prepared. I, did it sound like there was judgment in my voice? No, I was just, you know... I was trying I to figure out what the possibilities could be. To show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientists need to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You, you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness, the transformation unitology teaches Damn us? Damn man, I'm a doctor. doctor, not a physicist. Parents, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. <laughs> Dr. 
Team T, Chief Science Officer. The vit logs from the colony are poor quality, but the artifact does indeed appear to be a genuine marker. The first to be found in Unitology's 200-year history. I'm eager to get it on board the ship so I can study it properly. The potential here is enormous, not just for me personally, though it's true I've dreamed of such a discovery for decades, but also to humanity, and the Church of Unitology in particular. This marker could herald the dawn of a new age for mankind, and I will do my part to ensure it comes to pass. I know the Church would be grateful, but the true recognition will come from all of humanity. On this day, we are blessed. This thing right here, this this little this little thing right, right here, I can't I can't hit it. It's, it's too because uh, I'm not I'm not swinging. It's too powerful. Ah, uh, I can't do it. That thing right there. Join us in paradise. I think we got everything here. Oh, we can charge up. Perfect. I didn't go in here yet, I don't think. hell kind of pictures are those? Can we read it? No God, no fear. No God, no fear. Oh, this is a, yeah, you know, hey, that's, that's, I mean, if you're under the whole religion thing, I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty good there. The... What? The prudency... something. And take refuge? This is, I don't know. Run and hide. Don't stay here. It's not safe here anymore. That guy's strong. They're exp Come on! Come on! Let me out! No! Oh. Uh, oh. <coughs> yeah. That's you know, that's not weird at all. <laughs> okay. Is full. Wait, 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 wait. Small med pack. Okay, is there a quick way to use med packs? Do we have, do, were we told how to do that? I guess we could do it this way. Wait, can you, can you key it? Is it X? Yes, it is X. Okay. Although, did it, did it use up Okay, used a small one. So now I'm a little concerned about this, because I feel like maybe this is another one of those V-Sync moments. Okay, Whew. good. Maybe it's because I was like right on the edge of it or something? I don't know. Oh. 
Oh, I'll definitely hit this thing eventually. Just trying to get used to this game. Came back and see you falling in nothingness and then punting a tentacle alien baby. Yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. You know what they need to develop? For, for, okay, hear me out. Why is it the doors always go up, right? They should start developing doors that go down. Because, I mean, I guess then you have the problem of maybe debris falling into the mechanism, but, but, but then as the door drops, you actually can see. Rather than them being able to see your feet and start shooting, you can actually see and shoot over the doors that came down. I know some go sideways, but it's the same problem. I mean, I guess that works. But, I don't know. More doors need to go down. That's, that's the takeaway here. All right, that thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Okay, okay, so we're back up on the second. Okay, I see where we are now. Can't recharge anymore. There we go. Whew. Yeah, finding the nose is good. Didn't we find it? I thought we found the thermite bomb. Maybe we need to go the other way. How much money do we have? 9,000 credits. Can we buy anything? I know we have... I guess we should see how much the flamethrower is. I don't, I don't know if we're going to get it or not, though. The flamethrower is 11,000. To Sue Plasma Energy. Power nodes are still 10. Maybe, maybe there's more than just one. You can just buy a whole bunch of them. I can sell stuff. I'm perma-full. Yeah, true, but like I'm mostly perma full on, on energy. That's it, I think. Oh, that's right, I guess we could put in storage as well. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a good point. But how, but we just unlocked, we're, we're definitely not perma full. Or, okay, okay, right, I see. I get it, I see what you're saying. So, well, I don't want to... Right, so we're not going to sell. We're going to say select move. Okay. Semiconductor can always be sold. What was a semiconductor? Valuable electronic to sell at the store for... Oh, okay. Where is that? There it is. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's spend all our money on a power node, right? Yeah. Maybe. Eh, maybe. 
Maybe, maybe not quite yet. Maybe there's gonna be something better. CEC Imaging Diagnostics Lab. Why, why the lights? <laughs> it's never gonna get old. <laughs> Having those bodies, I have a feeling it has something to do. My guess is it has to do with the V Sync. I think the game is supposed to, at least the Steam version, you're supposed to have V Sync on because that was the issue with us getting through that earlier door. Was with V Sync off, it just had like even though the door was open, it wasn't technically open. And that body, like the guy who was behind the door, was supposed to be attacked by the Necromorph, and the Necromorph wasn't there. So I think, I think that with V Sync off. It does something funky to the game, but the funny thing is, is that the game runs so much smoother with V-Sync off. And I'll be honest, like, I kind of like it, because every single one of those deaths, like, I go into it forgetting what's going to happen, so I'm like, I'm so drawn in, and, you know, and then it's right that last split second that <laughs> when the death happens and you just, you get pulled out of it, and it's so, so humorous. It's comedic. Turning on and off V-Sync is actually part of the game, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got one node. Kinesis module, so we can increase the range. Energy and duration. It's an air. Uh, wait, that's the line gun. So plasma cutter, let's throw this one. We gotta go, yeah, we could do this. Go through a floor, turn V-Sync on. Can't go through an open door, turn V-Sync off. They just like doing little flips, they do. Now, if I just bought that other power node, I could have upgraded for more power right now. Use Kinesis on heavy objects that display this symbol. The, what? Oh, the magnet? Is there another one? Or is there just a death rattle? What is this thing? Does this thing blow up? Maybe that blows up and I could have used that to my advantage. It's okay. You're you're fine. Provides energy for puzzles. Oh, okay. Pulse round. Schematic acquired. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Yes, I will take that. look mildly concerned. I was mild. I see it goes over there. I was mildly concerned about him. Ah, uh, yep. Plasma cutter. Let's throw that damage on. Yes.
so we grab that. Perfect. Like a pro. Did that not work? Oh, I see. That's for this. I thought it was for the door. And here we go, falling through the floor, right? No? Good. Infidels? Yeah, but I don't know if it... There was the other one when we were back out in the hangar, and when they're crawling on the wall and you shoot the arm off, like, the one fell off the wall, maybe it just technically died because it fell. I don't know. So that's why I'm not sure if we technically one-shot that guy, or maybe they're just more vulnerable when they're crawling. The last one looked like it was waving. Can I get back? Can I go through this door? What does the map say? Wasn't wasn't there a door here? Oh, 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 oh it's a stasis charge station thing. They want they do want a hug. Yeah. Let me notify if you miss stuff or experiences on your own. Don't want to turn this into a backseat stream. I mean, if I miss something that's like. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. Like, if I miss something and get too far away from it, let me know. Or, no, I guess not too far away from it. You know what I'm saying? Don't, like, say, okay, now go over to that corner when I haven't even gotten, like, into the room sort of thing. But, yeah, if I miss something that's, like, maybe worth knowing. Your enemies are when you are in a vacuum. Okay. A shortcut to the end game. I missed a power node door. Am I going to be going back through that way? That's fine. I need to go back over here anyway to get oxygen again. Exiting vacuum. Where? Uh, what was it? Was it down there somewhere? Where was the power node door you're talking about? Oh, I can't open it without a power node? But I don't have a power node, so... I'm pretty sure I could get back to this area, because I know we can get back to the tram station. Some doors you can invest a power node to open it, but usually there's a lot of ammo and stuff. Not sure if you need that trade. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Still, good to know. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero-G area. Okay. Your ammo counter will flash red if you can't jump to a circle. Zero G jump. What 
the hell did it say? Didn't it say I could... I thought it said that, but... Oh. Alright, so then where are we trying to go? It looks like we need to get up there, so... Let's see if we can take this... I guess I didn't need to have two of them, right? But didn't I grab? I grabbed that one. Why do I? Why do we have two more here? Somewhere else I can go? Maybe I can go somewhere else later. <coughs> Inventory full, of course. The other one's a defect. Oh. Exiting zero gravity. Shock pad. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Uh, yeah. I will stay safe. Entering zero gravity. It's unlocked. Exiting zero gravity. Yeah, right. So then we're just going right back through again the way we came. Yeah. Entering vacuum. Hi, friend. He seemed just as surprised to see me. That's so creepy. Exiting vacuum. I like that there's no sound in there too. That's a real cool feature. Hey, Dane. How are you doing? I think we still have full stasis. I need to charge that up yet. There was a Danish emblem on the door, you said? So where was this power node door that you were talking about? It's next to the workbench. Oh, right there. Oh, I see. Power lock enabled. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so there's a thingy there. Red circle with white cross has Denmark. Oh. I see what you're saying. We got enough money, I guess we could... I think the store is... 
like just through here. Oh. Good? Rocket, thank you for that gifted substitutes. It's right, it's right here. Here it is. Machine gun is only useful against those guys? Yeah. That's what I was thinking is, yeah, right here, right? The pulse rifle. That or maybe the flamethrower, but. Maybe at some point, that'll be worth it to get the pulse rifle for that? Maybe it is. Not right now, obviously, because I just spent my my hard-earned credits. Oh. Reporter psychiatric observation patient Harris B. Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd, and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planetside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two planetside security officers were present when he took Dr. Uh, Sierra, I don't know, whatever, hostage and murdered nurse, what's your name? Uh, Nurse Evans, and he didn't. He doesn't deny his actions, but he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and intransigent, displaying schizophrenic behavior. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces, and that he'll kill again to make it whole again. But that means I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very intriguing. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Use it. I, I'm sure we're going to have... We're gonna have more than enough stuff. The line racks. Right, that's what we need to drop is the line racks. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? I don't know if we made all of our money back. The room was worth it. The contents were worth more than... Right, yeah, it's true. I guess, yeah, with the large med pack. Let's see, inventory, so let's go line racks. Move. Uh, 
also gain some valuable voice logs. You can't buy those? That's, that's true. I'm not gonna sell all this stuff, though. We do need to create some, uh, some space here. Maybe go with that. Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds, we are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Every quarter. It sounds like they have under right? control. I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Baby. They haven't mastered doors yet. Oh, they mastered regeneration. But oh, never mind. Was the second one. For a moment there, I was I was definitely concerned. Is that something I can open? No, it's a random green light. Uh, that's locked. They mastered duplication, right? That's which is maybe even scarier. on the wall here an oxygen recharger why would we need that huh that makes it sound like maybe we're gonna have an issue with oxygen over here not too long from now if we can't get through here isn't the other door locked too Wait a minute. What am I trying to do here? It says I should be able to go through here. Oh, I see. Right. Duh. Stasis on him, which is huh, not what I wanted to do, but I guess it all worked out. All worked out in the end. Ah, here we go. Just in one of those rooms.
Yep, <laughs> kinetic space pest control. Wherever they pop up, we put them down. hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. Jesus. Am I on Angie's list? <laughs> Actually, it's just Angie now. It used to be called Angie's list, now it's just Angie. Fun little fact there. Yeah, I don't know, Forecaster. <laughs> Even like chopping through multiple limbs at once. Science Log Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. You couldn't play it alone? You mean you wouldn't play it with, you know, like late at night with all the lights turned off? Just the glow of the computer screen. That's the thing, is there's only... The downside to having the green screen is that by doing that, I have to have lights on, right? So it's not like super scary, because there's always light around. First time playing it was after I watched someone play it and it was still, still scary to you. Yeah. You're the whispering. In the background again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Well, bad things happened to this ship. Transform dead bodies to alive monsters. Yeah, I, I picked up on that. Captain Matthias, oh, it is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and beyond the scope of my role. I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his uh, leukocyte count was very low with, what the hell, e eosinophilus? <laughs> in particular, almost non-existent? His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. 
A slight contusion around the ribcage suggesting his chest was restrained in some way. The cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly low. I therefore have no alternative but to report a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Tuse, I don't know. Again, I think it. I think all that's happening. I think that all has to do with the V sync. That's that's my best guess. Okay, so this. Wait, that's not. Is that where I came in? No, hang on a sec. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, dang it. I'm trying to look at this thing. Didn't I come in from the other way? That's a quicker way back. I don't want to go that way because we've passed that power node door. that I'm trying to 100 complete this. You know. But since I know it's here. I just need to find it again. I, I don't know that I'm going to 100% it is what I, what I meant. It was what I meant to say, too. It's what I meant to say. I realized as I said it that it wasn't... I will complete the game, whether or not it's 100% like completionist style. That that's remains to be determined. New game plus. Uh, further to our previous conversation, I asked that you delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony. But that's why I ask. What's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without proper time to study the causes and effects. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Uh, Ciarello and Wayland Planetside to get their observations. Terrence. Okay, so we still have to go that way. Where was that door? It was right around here, wasn't it? There it is. Schematic for line racks. Can't pick up because of all the line racks. There's, there's too many line racks. Uh, don't have enough line racks? Because there's, there's more line racks. I thought I had more inventory space. Um... Can we drop? And so it was gonna send us back, but I'm curious what's down this other hall here. <laughs> I heard you like lime racks. Another one. So we don't know yet what these things are. Well, they're necromorphs, but you're right. No, we don't technically know. I haven't used my my line rack. <laughs> My line gun or whatever. Like, really used it. Newborns. Oh, So these must be all the little... All the little crazies crawling around now. It's the little ones. The wee ones. It must have expected me to use line racks down here. <laughs> they have names. Yeah. Well, because they are newborns. Why wouldn't they have names? 
it had names. Well, no, I mean, the ones that are still alive still have names. I guess it's a question of whether or not they'll respond to those names. We'd have to go through the whole list. So I think, I mean, this has got to wrap us back around, doesn't it? Yeah. Jeez. You're a little stronger than some of the other ones. 3,000 credits. You're at least 2,000 credits stronger than the other ones. Isaac! Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Yeah. You know, if you let us... We've got bigger problems. Oh. The ship's <laughs> engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. He never lets us actually respond. We could have told him, yeah, there's this flying bat thing that's turning them into these guys. Hey, line racks. We're going to sell some line racks. I guess if I ever have to, I can make a run back. Pick up some more line racks. Uh, let's move this over. This over. We got... Yeah, we got some stuff. Um, I don't know if we want to buy a power node. I'm just trying to think about how far off we are from getting another suit. And how much that's gonna cost. Line racks only stack to six when you find two on drop. Plasma cutter ammo stacks to 25 when you find six. Yeah. Right. But the line rack must do more damage in general. Especially with the mines there. Hey, Zeke, what's up, man? How is Starbound? And the, hey, everybody else who's just coming over. Uh, wait, this is not what we want to see. We want to see the map. Make sure we're going the right way here. Yeah. Still engaging for some reason? I, I'm not, I'm not judging. I think that's great. It's always nice when you can find a game that's that stays engaging. Taking it back pretty far. Yeah, 